All right. Well, Melkers. <laughs> Melkers is just keen to let you know that uh, we, we brought the enchanting table from the treehouse. And, uh, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do some enchanting uh, on our diamond boots that we found last time in the boat and our lovely craftsman. Uh, craftsman? Cra <laughs> craftsmanship? Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really have the best craftsmanship that helmet does, but, uh, it'll do, you know, it'll do. But you know what, this armor, it's, it's been worn to death, really, since, since the very beginning. And even with the enchanting, uh, it's, it's just not holding up anymore, so we need to make some new ones. So we'll do that, and we'll go ahead and and enchant both of those up and hopefully hopefully they'll they'll serve us for a long time because you know I gotta be honest going going back and re-equipping yourself with the same armor and not really upgrading it like if we were doing diamond right it wouldn't be such a big deal but just doing iron again you know come on right so I was just kind of deciding whether or not I should take any of that stuff with us, because of course today we are going to the aviary to lay down some of our pterosaur eggs. So, I think we have everything we need. Milkers? I don't know. We have a boat. We have... Oh, we have biofossils. We have biofossils, so we can repair that mast now, I think. Right? Or helmet. Uh... Maybe? Maybe not. Do, do we need relic scraps for that? Is that what we needed? Ah, crap. Melkers, why, <laughs> what's the deal? You know, why, why didn't you let me know before I embarrass myself like that? Cripes. Unbelievable. Uh. Just, no, don't follow me. Stay there. <laughs> I just want to damage your eardrum because you're such a punk. Uh. No, that's that's not funny. Animal abuse is never, never funny. So, I think. Oh, well, okay. Jeez, gonna have to widen that doorway maybe a little bit. Must be putting on weight from all these, these milkers, uh, <laughs> uh, cakes that I've been making on the side. My God, milkers cakes. That just sounds nasty, doesn't it? Jeez. What would Melkers think if he was here? All right. So, we are going out into the wild blue yonder. That's what you call the ocean. After all, you call it the wild blue yonder. And, uh, for good reason. You know, I mean, look at that. There's nothing out there. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. See you later, island. Oh, my God. This thing. Oh. Well, obviously, we did not have enough room for the aviary on that island. It's just too small. So that's why we're headed off to a bigger section of the island. Where the dock is. <laughs> if, if it comes into view, geez, slowly. It's, it's like almost the loading screen on the PS1 uh, when you would get on there and you'd be like loading and it would just wait like 10 seconds for your gameplay to start between the rooms. That was, that was pretty harsh. And you know, that's kind of what I think of when we when we go into new sections of the world, just like uh, a loading screen kind of, sort of. Which it is, in its own way. But our boat came apart, so now we just have extra wood. Fantastic. Oh, you know what? We should take some of these tomatoes that, <laughs> that led us under the dock last time. Oh my god. Stupid tomatoes. Just positioned in a shape. <laughs> in a, in a suggestive, suggestive, uh, suggesting shape yeah just a little bit but long story short we have tomatoes now so <laughs> so we can make some ketchup to go with our our wonderful uh lamb chops that we'll probably have later i don't know we'll see that might have been a fluke when we got those lamb chops that one time who knows um i i, I don't think that sheep drop lamb chops every single time but you never know. 
They could. They could. I mean, we we just got to be patient, I guess, and uh and wait and see, right? Yeah. Actually, I need to get my bearings because is that I think that's the museum over there. I don't remember that hole being there, but yeah, there's the museum. Okay. So uh we should go steal some more paintings, but we're not going to <laughs> steal some more paintings for the aviary, right? Oh my god, no, we're not going to do that. I don't think that there was any any aviary related paintings in the Charles Knight Museum, was there? Well, we will go ahead and head off to the aviary and hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. If we get there at all. Alright. Well, we've been walking for a really long time and we're still not there yet. There, the aviary is nowhere in sight. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up camp for the night and uh, take shelter. You know, because that's the wise thing to do. So we'll plop this down, get our hammer out, and voila! There we have a nice, beautiful tent ready for the evening. Now, real tent setups uh, tend to be a lot longer than that, but thanks to the evolutionary standards and expert craftsmanship here in the wonderful world of the tropics, uh, we, <laughs> we have instant campsite and instant chest and instant stove. Oh my god, it's wonderful, right? Can we cook tomatoes? I, I don't, you can't cook, really cook tomatoes in real life, can you? Unless you, like, puree them. And I think that involves cooking them. What the heck? Who the hell are you? Um. Do, okay. <laughs> Just some, some weird native sticking his head in my shed. Or my tent. Well, that was disturbing. Maybe it was just my imagination. I don't know. I'm going to bed. All right. I don't think that that native uh, came into my tent during the night. So that's a good thing. Um, I would hate for... Yeah, I, I don't see anybody out there. Maybe it was just my imagination, hopefully. So <laughs> let's go ahead and disequip the tent. And there it is. All right. Oh, there, there yeah, he still, he still exists. <laughs> he still lives and breathes. My God, what the hell are you? Um, indigenous species to the land, I suppose, right? You've heard of the creeper? Well... He is the thin, pasty, tan, red version of a creeper. Uh, only it doesn't explode. <laughs> and it really has nothing to do with being a creeper at all, except for he creeps in your window like a little pervert, right? Wow. You have deer. Oh, my God. Just a regular tank campsite, right? Just deer and, and pasty little square guys running around. Well, there is our aviary. Holy crap. How do you like that? Isn't it beautiful? Just the full experience dead on. Hopefully it's not like crawling with these guys, whoever they are, because it was abandoned quite some time ago. And Kozlov said, you know, Head on out to the aviary. You can put your birds there. And uh, he did mention that nobody's been here in quite quite a while. Because uh, construction finished, <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe a year ago. <laughs> and, and nobody's been here since. And that, that is real time. Not, <laughs> not, um, not stretching that at all. So let's see. Um, is, is there anybody in here? Any, any? Any bacon men or or creepers? Just gotta be careful. Oh. Okay. Well, I hear something in the ceiling. Uh that creeps me out just a little bit. But we have a nice little setup here. Nice little setup going. What do we got in here? Blueberry pie! Oh wow. It's probably all moldy though, but we'll take it. And amber. Holy crap, we can make like a little John Hammond cane. <laughs> and, 
and have that going for us while we walk around the aviary all high and mighty, right? We got a big old deluxe bed. Oh, it's perfect. What's in here? Oh, little storage area. Okay. Anything in the storage area? Of course not. All right. Well, you can't win them all, right? So let's go on out and check out our aviary. Hopefully, there are no like bad guys on the sea land or anything back here. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? There's like birds already in here or something. I guess I guess they were forgotten about when they abandoned the aviary or whatever. But man, they survived in here that whole time. Quite a bit of them, too. My god. It's nice just to stand here in silence and take it all in, you know? But let's see if we can find a way down there. Um, you'd almost think that there has to be like a ladder or an entrance over there. Uh, okay. Well, we probably have to go outside to get to that. What about anything over here? Any way down that is not going to kill us? A deer. I can't believe a deer worked his way in here. That's just... It's blowing my mind a little bit, you know? Uh, that a deer, you know, would want to spend his life in in an aviary I mean it's not gonna always smell the best and you're probably gonna get a lot of white stuff on your head uh, living <laughs> below the birds you know um, but that's his choice I guess that's his choice so more more power to him for choosing to live among the birds right and I don't know if there's something up there but we're just gonna go around this way uh, just, just to be safe, you know? I like to pay it safe when I, like, I walk 20-some-odd miles to, <laughs> to get to a location. I just, I just don't want to die, you know, and then end up, uh, back at the lab or wherever. Oh, my God. Great. Well, the blueberry pie was pretty tasty. It's got to be said. You know. So let's go ahead and craft up some levers and I guess there is no stone around. So we'll dig in here and hopefully hit some stone. Oh <laughs> wonderful. Right? We, we, who would have thunk that we'd hit water, uh, before we'd hit stone? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But, we journey on, because that's what we do after all. And <laughs> we have to get those pterosaurs down today, and the daylight is quickly fading, so, um, the longer we screw around, the chances are we won't get that done, so hurry up and get out of this hole. I don't want to spend an eternity down here. I only need like one stone anyway. So let's make up those levers. And is it? Oh, I, I always get that wrong. All right, just swap it around. Okay. You would think that a stone would go on top of a stick because like I always envision that the stone is like a button, I guess, or something. But no, it's the base. It's the base for the handle. Okay. Well, uh, oh, that was pretty dark. Look at that in here. It's just, it's beautiful. Oh, and you can see the birds up close because they don't fly all the way to the top up there. 
Well, they do, but they don't really stay there for that long. These are. These are like some kind of prehistoric birds, but I have no idea what they are. No clue. No clue. Maybe they're like, uh, you know those, <laughs> I know they're not, but you know like those velociraptors that can glide through trees? They're not, they're not velociraptors, but like they're a member of the velociraptor family. What are you doing in here, guy? Ah, well, I'm just saying maybe those are the kind of birds that these are. You know, they're gliders, not flyers, but I say that and they're clearly gliding, so... Yeah, just <laughs> just ignore that previous statement completely, right? Oh. All right, so let's get our pterosaur eggs down. We'll just place them all around here, just wherever we kind of sort of please, because it doesn't really matter. They're going to hatch. They're going to be among their own kind. Uh, I don't really think we're going to have to maintain complete vigilance of them, you know, just because I I think that the pterosaurs are are pretty well equipped to handle themselves here. You know, I mean, they have the bacon men walking all <laughs> if that's what they are uh, watching over them, and yeah. How's this egg doing? It's already a third of the way done. Great. Fantastic. Well. It's getting dark. We should probably head on out of here and uh, we'll come back in the morning and check on our pterosaurs. I don't remember. I thought that the door was closed. Oh, God. Must be a cave through there or something. Or just an Enderman shadow in me. Which is fantastic. Probably what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna get back inside and just an Enderman's gonna pop up right in front of my face and kill me. That would be awesome. And then I'd I'd never see the little pterosaurs grow up. <laughs> and that would just be such a shame. It'd be such a shame. Because we went all that way. And you know. Not to see them even hatch. It'd be a little sad. It's gotta be said. It'd be just a little bit sad. But. Alright. Well. I think I'm gonna go to bed. So. Let's hit the sack. Of course. Alright. Well. What are you gonna do? I guess we can use the time to make up some stuff that we'll need for the return trip, right? So let's go ahead and make a boat since we lost ours. And you know what? Actually, I'm just curious. Let's play around. Oh, I thought that we could do something, but never mind. Oh! What the hell? You, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. A helicopter is a boat with a roof. That's the recipe for a helicopter. All this time, I could have just made this and been out of here, and... It... <sighs> well, it is a prototype. Maybe Kozlov kept it from me because, like, he, he deemed it unsafe, perhaps. Maybe. But we're, we're going to test it out. We are totally going to test it out. Um... We do have a responsibility, though, to those pterosaurs, so maybe we should do that first. Yeah, we, pro we probably should. Well, so, we'll, okay, we'll take care of the pterosaurs, and then after we're done with them, uh, we'll, we'll go exploring the lands. How about that? I think that sounds good. So. All right. What's this place look like? Oh, you know what? Ha haven't we seen a map like this before? Yeah, I think we have. So that looks pretty identical to the one that we had before, doesn't it? Yeah, just just a little bit. Huh. Well. It's a big facility. I'll give it that. It's very, very, very freaking big. Jesus. 
All right, well, I don't really think that there's much else for us to do. Just kind of killing time here. So we'll just wait out the night, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Daylight has come once again, and once again, I'm unsure if there are monsters out here because it was night after all. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility for a skeleton or something to spawn up there, but it looks clean. It looks clean, so that's the important thing, right? So, how did our eggs do last night? How indeed. Ah, oh, it looks like they all hatched. Well, there's a skeleton down there, but... One, two, three, I think. If there's three over there, I would say that the rest probably hatched without even looking. What about the one over here, though? Just out of curiosity, I don't see it. Probably walked over here. Yeah, because there's four now. All right, well, let's go ahead and just save ourselves the time. I think we can jump into that water. You think? I think so. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh my God, I did not mean to hit you guys. I'm so sorry. No, no, pterosaurs. <laughs> Come on. It, we, we, uh, God, I just, I, I brought them into this world and their first experience with me is me diving from like a hundred feet above them onto their head with a diamond sword. That is phenomenal. Oh my God. And now they are so pissed. I don't blame them. I mean, if somebody, you know, if I was born and somebody dove onto my head, oh, crap. You, this, no. <laughs> okay. No. Oh my God. This might, this might be the end. This is just bad. I have three pterosaurs and a creeper chasing me in the aviary. I never saw this coming. I honestly never even knew that the, ah, oh, I never knew that the pterosaurs would turn on me if I hit them. I thought that they were peaceful. And now they know that I'm not because I had to kill them. Crap. Well, at least one is still nice, right? <laughs> oh, there, there should be two more, I think, in here that are, that are still worthy of my attention. But we still have this creeper to deal with, so let's take him out really quick. Yeah, you booger! Come on, come on, just, just, just get down here. All right, there you go. Cool. We should really put some lights up in that tunnel, and then we wouldn't have that problem, right? Yeah. Where is my... Where's my Dinopedia? Did I leave that upstairs? Crap. I think I did. Alright. Well. Um. <laughs> stupid bacon man. God. Uh, oh. The hell? Just one hit took him out? Huh. Oh, that's... That's interesting. Maybe we should dispose of the rest of the bacon men, too, while we're at it. Just get rid of them all, right? Little buggers. You know what? As long as we're down here, let's go ahead and get some fish for the good pterosaurs that are still with us. Right? Because they deserve it. I mean, they deserve it after all. It wasn't their, uh, you know, problem that their other brethren, you know, rebelled against them. So, we'll go ahead and fish up a feast for these guys. Big old feast, a tilapi. And they'll, they'll be thanking us for all eternity. Right? If there are any more fish in the sea here. The sea. It's like a little lake. Oh. 
You gotta say, I mean, honestly, this this habitat is pretty impressive to have its own lake with fish in it. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I have. Is this? Oh my god. I think I got bacon from the bacon men, which totally makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, come here, you booger. Let's see if we get any more bacon. Any? No. No, we did not. Is there any more up here? Maybe you only get him once in a while. Oh, oh yeah. All right, I got, I got two from him. Jeez. That was a fat little bacon man, wasn't it? All right. I wonder if we can cook these up. You think? I mean, it would only stand to reason that if we get bacon, we can cook it. So let's go ahead and just really quick, because I don't want to walk all the way up to the aviary, because it takes forever, uh, craft up a crafting table, and we will do a stove and see if we can cook these little suckers up and if we can uh, we might have to go on like a bacon hunt <laughs> and, and just like take a a momentary break uh, from recreating dinosaurs and just like seek out all kinds of bacon and then we can like uh, I don't know just have a grand old time with bacon and maybe like recreate an entire T-Rex field and then just feed them nothing but bacon. That would be that would be awesome. A, a bacon rex. A, a, a brex. A brex. A bacon T-Rex. Oh my god. That would be just phenomenal, wouldn't it? Jeez. All right. Well. Um... Yeah, so we cooked bacon. <laughs> we cooked bacon. Can we eat it? Uh, you know what? Actually, let's see here. There we go. Oh, that's delicious. Don't you want some deer? All right, come here. Come here. If you don't want bacon, you can join the menu, and let's see if you drop anything special. Oh. Hello. Venison. Venison. Is that how you say that? Venison? I think so. But, uh, I've never had deer meat before. And honestly, I, I'm kind of happy to say I've never had deer meat before because I've never really thought that that deer meat is appealing at all. Just because, I mean, deer... Deer are one of those animals that, like, you know, you you tend to think have more brains than the typical uh, animal that you eat, you know? Like, like little piglets, right? Little piglets are smart. They're still really smart. But I think deer are smarter than piglets. Um, I'm sure that somebody, you know, some scientist out there has actually monitored the brain activity of animals and have like a a idea of how smart they are in order like uh the pig is smarter than the sheep and the cow is smarter than both of them you know uh but the deer i would think that the deer is pretty high on that chart like not <laughs> not dolphin high i'm sure but but pretty fairly high up there and that's why I, I just, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have killed that deer. We probably won't kill any more deer, I don't think. Uh, if we run across, like, any other horrible animals that will actually, like, threaten us, like, uh, oh, my God, can you imagine if we, like, ran into bears or something? That would be great. We could go on, like, a bear bear safari. <laughs> would, would you even call it a bear safari? I don't know. I don't really think... I think to go on safari, you technically have to be in, like, Africa. Because I think I think that's the law. <laughs> I think I think any hunting trips that are known as safaris have to take place in Africa. So otherwise, it's just known as a hunting trip. So maybe I don't know. There's a vast land out there. Maybe we should just go in and take some time and see what other creatures we can find. You know. 
the tent is set up, and I know the aviary is like literally right behind us, but I gotta say, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not too happy with the way those pterosaurs turned out. Like they, they all turned on me right away, and I just, I, I just don't feel any obligation to take care of them. So <laughs> I think we're just gonna abandon them. I, I know, I know that that's that's terrible. All the effort and work we went to 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 get those eggs ready and then come in here, but yeah, I think we're gonna abandon them and just take our time out here in the wilderness and and enjoy ourselves before we head on back to the island to do some more dinosaur work. You know, I think it's a good idea. Maybe maybe not the best idea in the world, but still. So. Just get rid of some of this crap we don't really need. And cobblestone. Oh, and we still got to test that prototype. So I think we'll do all that next time. Thank you.